There she go. Hey, hey. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Keeping myself busy. Girl, I know you are. Do I? I didn't even ask. Do I sound clear? Am I okay? Can you hear me well? You said what? Can you hear me well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had to put my 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 volume up, but we good. We good. Okay. Cool. You look gorgeous, though. Your makeup is all beads. I love it. Thank you. Listen, I, I left my makeup my makeup bag in the car, in the, in the car trunk, and my mom, she had to go. So I'm like, listen, I got to figure out how to, like, beat this face. So I made it happen. I made it happen. <laughs> I hear YouTube tutorials are where it's at. That's where you learn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's so good to talk to you. I have been following you so long for now since your YouTube cover days and to now just to see you getting so much love. This is this is really dope. I'm it's just been a journey. It's definitely been a journey. Thank you so much. Yes. Well, how has quarantine been affecting you and making your music? How has that been? Has it been like a little weird for you? Quarantine specifically, I feel like because I'm a homebody. And so, like, I, I don't do the clubs, I don't do, like, none of that. And so, quarantine for me was a little bit therapeutic because I had time to, you know, self-reflect and just, you know, work on the things that I really wanted to work on and learn and stuff like that. Like, you know, putting my son up in the crib. Like, I got my son up in the crib, so I just be recording myself now. I be doing covers. I got this little ring light. And listen, I ain't knowing how much I needed a ring light till I got one. And listen, it changed your life. I just one off of Amazon, but it's on delay. <laughs> yes. So we'll see how that goes. But that's, I feel like that's what a lot of people is teaching so many people um, to come up with skills when you can't go out and get somebody else to do it for you and really just be self-reliant because you have to be since you can't be around people. Even with my makeup, like, I always knew how to do my makeup. The only thing I always struggled with was putting on my lashes. But now, during quarantine, I had to practice and I mastered it. <laughs> I'm a one on one because me and makeup, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> Let's rewind a little bit because, you know, for people who are just getting to know you with your new project, Deception Season One, which, of course, we're going to talk about that. Yeah. Um, you've been doing music since you were young and even fast forward a little bit after that, you know, you were able to link up with Fat Joe. Talk mm -hmm. to me a little bit about your relationship with Fat Joe, not only, you know, off the scenes, but really in your career. I mean, like, working with Fat Joe and just being around him, he just stayed dropping gems. And again, he's been in the industry for so long that he's so smart. He knows what he's doing. And so, you know, I definitely, like, I trust him with whatever he says. You know, sometimes we meet in the middle. You know, <laughs> might have an opinion. He may have an opinion. We just meet in the middle. And, you know, we just make it work. We definitely make it work. Yeah. And so it seems like, because, you know, just from watching you from when you were guys were doing the press run for more in the morning, and just even after that, it seems like, though, even off the scenes, you guys have a pretty tight bond. Yeah, it's like family. That's my family. So <laughs> definitely. And shout out to Lorena. That's definitely my family because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. Okay. Rock Nation and all that stuff with Joe <laughs> and stuff like that. Like, I, It's crazy because when I first got signed with Joe, later on I ended up finding out that Lorena, his wife, was actually the one who was like, yo, you got to sign her. So she was shout out to you. Shout out to you, boo. <laughs> yeah. And that's so dope that she was pushing for you in your corner. Yeah. You okay, so you know, I really feel like that you really stay consistent, and I'm not just talking about you know now, but even going back, like how I said, just watching some of your YouTube videos and your covers and things like that. How important was it staying consistent and really getting to this point that you're at today? Because I feel like that probably has a lot to do with you know, you're, you being successful now. I mean, listen, it's like trials and tribulations, so you're not gonna get it right. Mm. like the first try and so you know consistency is key but yeah, yeah I, like one thing that i like to say is yeah you have the content but it's also about the execution so as far <laughs> as my music i feel like i did take a little bit long to release it because the album was supposed to come out a year ago i've been working on that album deception season one for like two and a half years now and mm -hmm. so it's been a journey it's been a, a process you know like taking stuff off putting stuff in and just like a whole bunch of stuff and it's like it was definitely a learning process um it wasn't easy 
And that's why I always tell people, like, if you have a plan A, because music has always been my plan A. I always wanted to do music. I always see myself, like, doing something in the entertainment world, in that realm. And so um, I, I always say, like, if you have a plan A, do not doubt yourself and plan a plan B just in case that plan A don't happen, just because one way didn't work out. Like, if, that, if one way didn't work out to make that plan A happen, then find other ways to make it happen, because it's not going to happen overnight. And I'm a, a perfect example of that because yeah. this is like 11 years that I've been doing music. So it's crazy to say that I've been doing it for a decade because this is my passion. So it don't even feel like that. That's amazing. Well, and they say, you know, like, find what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And of course, not saying that it's easy by any means, but, you know, I feel like it makes it easier if you enjoy what you do because it doesn't necessarily. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo-hoo. Yeah, I mean, you just gave a word. I just had to add my little two cents after. <laughs> yes, yes, but it, you're right. You're right. You're speaking back. Listen, so your new, your single with Jacquees, Why? I feel like that came out right about when all this whole, like, shutdown in the pandemic kicked off. So how was, that, how was that for you to know that you can really, like, work it like you did more in the morning and like you would, you know, any other single? Well, it's crazy because, like, when, once, like, why it came out or i think it came out during I, I have to check i think it came out right before the pandemic hit yeah so actually it did it came out right before the pandemic hit mm -hmm. and i was so sad because i was supposed to go on my radio promo tour like, mm -hmm. i was supposed to do my room or my promo run and all that and so it was like the pandemic hit so it kind of shifted a lot of things and you know it was just a lot of things that got shifted i still got so much stuff planned and like already in store so i'm really excited for that but, you know, it just definitely, like, takes a lot of thinking, a lot of patience, a lot of patience. Because, you know, not time to, like, sometimes things ain't going to happen your way or as you plan it. And so, you know, you got to learn how to shift and, like, you know, jump from being here to, all right, we're going to do this. And you got to be able to do that quickly. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, you have to, like, get mentally strong, too, because especially, you know, this is something you do. This is your livelihood. To go from thinking, all right, got the single, we about to go on this promo run. Right. To then it's like, okay. It's like, yo, we about to do this, we about to do that. And it sucks because, like, I mean, I can't even complain. It yeah. sucks because, you know, like, we can't do the intimate interactions, the intimate performances and all that stuff. Like, meeting people, meeting greets and stuff like that. You know, interviews, like, we'd be doing this in person. But, you know, thank God that we have technology. I love to say that because it's like if we if we were in the middle of a pandemic and we ain't had no technology, you no know, Zooms or IG Labs or any of that, then we would really be struggling. <laughs> it would be a different time. <laughs> no, for real. got to be grateful. So I'm grateful for that. <laughs> so more in the morning, why just two of the singles off the new project, Deception Season 1. Did you... I guess contemplate when you were putting this out did you kind of say oh should i put it out now or was it kind of no thought like I'm, I'm doing it i definitely wanted to put it out like especially during the pandemic like everybody's at home everybody i mean outside of slowly opening up but for the most part everybody's at home everybody's on their phones and stuff like that so i'm like this is a perfect opportunity because i am a new artist so you know i had to <laughs> get in there but I, it was something i didn't want to rush yeah, I wanted my music out there, but I wanted it to go out there right. Like, I wanted to be prepared with the music that was coming out. I didn't want to just, you know, put it out there, just throw it out there, throw everything that I had, you know, in store out there. So I, we had to plan that accordingly, you know. It, it took some meetings, and it took, you know, being vocal about it, but, you know, we got it done, and we're here with it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want people to get from the album you know when they listen to it what do you want them to walk away with because it's definitely a vibe like i Thank love you. it starts off with you um you know in the first song speaking at spanish my dad yes. and so i was like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> but yes, i definitely like when people listen to that album i definitely want them to understand that one i've been doing this for a hot minute and two, I'm open-minded. I like to do different stuff. So I'm not only just doing one genre. Like, if you, I could do different styles. And I ain't a rapper, but in that, your plug, I'm kind of like, you know, what with my money at? Come with the bag. I don't want none of that. It's kind of like a singing, rappy kind of style. And it's like, basically, I want people to understand that I could do anything. I could be versatile. I could be, like, I'm not afraid to try new things. Yeah. And I feel like that's exactly what we get because... Like, it is about the interludes are hilarious. <laughs> I recorded it. I 
I would put it in my bedroom. <laughs> right. You go in and <laughs> like, I was so mad. I ain't go. I was really mad. Like I was really, really mad because I had already recorded the interludes. And right when I was sending it off, my files got deleted. I deleted it because I was because I had like because I, I, mind you, I was like just started to learn how to record myself. This was like months ago. Like this was like three, four months ago. Right. Probably like five now because time is flying by so fast. But with the interludes, when I was sending it off, like I, I had different copies. So I was deleting a couple copies and saving the, the, the main one. But I didn't know that if you delete the like some of the copies, it deletes. Like, I don't know. It's so complicated. But it got I know it now. But basically, I ended up deleting the entire session. And so I had to re-record it again, everything again. The three, the three interludes that had to be recorded. And so I was very tight. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just channel this energy and put it into the interviews. I was really mad, though. I was going to say that worked out perfectly because you can hear, but I'm like, dang, she is really acting. But that makes sense on why you were so angry. You feel me? I should have never even fucked with you. <laughs> you think I wouldn't peep? What? Yeah, for real. Trying to do three-way with me and some other Uh-uh. Oh, it ain't gonna happen like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, now that you know you have the album out, what I guess what is gonna come next? Are you still planning to tour like once stuff opens back up or do you wanna so, drop else or as of right now, I don't know about the touring. Yeah. We really don't know when this pandemic it's probably gonna be so thirty five, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So we don't know when this pandemic is gonna end. So I'm doing a whole bunch of virtual performances. I actually did one yesterday, which I'm really excited for people to see. Ooh. Um I definitely got a music videos on the way. I actually have one already shot, so I'm just really excited. I'm excited for everybody to look at the visuals, the photo shoots. I'm already working on my second album. Because albums do take time. Like again, I've been working on Deception from season one for two years and a half so it's like I, I want to start now so by the time it's ready for me to drop new music I'm already ready yeah I, I think it's gonna be amazing and have you been feeling the love from the aviators have you been feeling <laughs> thank you I really appreciate that <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm glad you are feeling it because your voice you definitely have a beautiful voice so I'm excited you know to see where this goes but I also I do want to ask you if you weren't singing and in the entertainment industry what would you be doing like, wasn't in the entertainment industry at all? At all. Damn, yeah, so, like... <laughs> Not that I'm saying you need your plan B, because we... But just if you were... Like, when you were younger, did you always... Because I know you started singing very young. So, but there was ever a time where you wanted to do something else? So, it's still in the realm of the entertainment industry. Okay. But hey, I ahead. always wanted to do acting. And so, even during the pandemic, I did some acting auditions, you know? What? So I'm, yes, yes. So I'm really excited. Um, I, I definitely, I want to definitely tap into the fashion industry. So beyond like just like modeling and like print modeling, like I want to do all that stuff or like, you know, creating my own clothing liner, doing my own makeup liner, being a brand ambassador for a makeup liner, you know, uh, walking the runway for like Versace or like some, some big people, <laughs> even the small people, like gosh, I'm showing love. It's love. Listen. For real. Well, that's dope. I mean, I could definitely see acting for sure. Like I said, those interludes, you were, you were giving it all to <laughs> Even though now I know you're really upset. <laughs> and I'm so tall. So even with the, like, modeling, I think I could do it. Like, I'm, like, 5'8". I mean, my, my ID say 5'7", but that was, like, two, three years ago. So I'm probably, like, 5'9". It's now. a little... 5'8", 5'9", something like that. <laughs> That is hilarious. Well, just, you know, before we go, what's kind of your message to people who, you know, are grinding it out and maybe not seeing results right away? Because, you know, a lot of the times people can kind of get caught up in, dang, I've been doing this for a week. Why is nothing happening? Or, you know, whatever it is. But a lot of this stuff takes time. What can you say, you know, as somebody who's been through it and was consistently doing things and now you see stuff pop off, what can you say to them, I guess, to really keep them going? I'm really happy that you mentioned that because there was times where I wanted to give up because I was going to my YouTube because I started off on YouTube and on Instagram doing covers. So I would even get discouraged when I would see like 30 viewers on my, my home video because I was doing home video covers. And I'm like, damn, like 
that's only 30 people but you got to think about it like 30 people turns into 60 turns into 120 and so it just doubles because you never know maybe that person who's watching a video is with three other people like we just never know and so we can't let these numbers discourage us we can't let people discourage us and you know it, you can take constructive criticism but some sometimes like especially with the internet some people are just going to say negative stuff just to get to you yeah. and so you know that and even I find myself like come on now you capping but it's like don't even let that bother you because nine yeah. times out of ten the people who are criticizing you ain't even doing or aiming to do the, the profession that you're aiming to do so it's like just keep going if you see the vision for yourself like believe in you if you believe in yourself then you can make it happen because nine times out of ten actually ten times out of ten only you can see the vision for yourself nobody can see that vision for you to see for yourself so you know girl that's the word okay okay <laughs> Thank you so much, though. I appreciate you taking the time. I know you're playing all parts now, director, makeup artist. You're doing it all. So I know it could be real busy, but you yes. <laughs> and so congratulations on the project. It's Thank getting, you. Oh, you know, so much love. And I hope you're feeling that love. Yes, and yes, so right. when it does open back up, you got to come back down and uh, party with us. Hopefully sometime soon. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. No problem. Enjoy. Have a good one.